Give me fuel, give me fire, give me double shot as Welcome to Bristol Motor Speedway for the Vitaline and the Summer Night Race. Not only this is the last summer race, this is also a cutoff race to see who will survive at the last great Coliseum. Let's take a look at our starting grid. In row 1, Phil Tankson in his second front row start and Master Dragon 4000, one of the championship contenders. In row 2, Chase raced a lot last week's winner at the Glen with Cal Wetters in a must win situation. In row 3, last week's Winner Lightning McQueen and Daniel Swervis below the cutoff line. In row 4, Colin Bargain and Jimmy Cables. In row 5, Brian Spark and Cruz Ramirez, the first playoff race winner. In row 6, Bubba Wheelhouse and Brandon Power Car. In row 7, Steve LePage and the spring race winner Bobby Swift. In row 8, Ryan Laney and H.J. Hollis. And starting in row 9 are Jay McFiller and Jackson Storm. Here's the race format, 25 laps, 13.32 miles around the .53 mile track, and pay road speed is 30 miles per hour. The pace car is off the pits. Meanwhile, Master Dragon 4000 and Phil Tankson are going to lead the field to the green flag and the vital line and the summer night race is underway. Phil Tankson already with the lead against the number 41 and Master Dragon 4000 along with Chase Racela and Cal Weathers. Meanwhile, Phil Tankson is lead in the field against number 41 guess I told you that already twice now here they go coming out turn number four and Phil Tankson is gonna lead lap two he's gonna try to prove that he deserves that first win of 2024 meanwhile Master Dragon 4000 trying to get that second win in a long time he is in a really long winless streak along with a few other racers in this track Chase race a lot looking hot from Watkins Glen, New York. Because last week he won that race. And Cal Wetter is in a must win situation because if he doesn't win this race, he'll be terminated from the playoffs. Mike McQueen is okay also, along with Daniel Swervis and Colin Bargain. We're already into lap five. And here's a look at Colin Bargain coming up to our number two. And we got trouble. The 20th Jackson Storm turns to number 21 Orion Laney. They bring out the first caution of the night. The 21 took a hard lick into the outside safer barrier. Trying to run away from that. And here's a look at what just happened. The 20 thought that the 21 was okay and he just bumped in, turned into the outside wall. Took a hard lick. Hopefully that's a nice night. That was an onboard with the 4J and McMiller. Here's it is. Here it is in full speed. We'll be right back since Ryan Laney and Jackson Storm bring out the first caution of the night. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Vital Line End of Summer Night Race. We're ready to go back green next time by. The lights are off the pace car and Phil Tanks in is gonna lead everybody back to the restart. The 21 Orion Laney has not pulled over to the garage yet. He's not planning on going to the garage unless if the damage gets horrible. And we're having reports from Jay McPillar that he needs to pay already. There's something wrong with the four prior to the caution. Alright, here he goes, splitting up two by two. Master Dragon 4000 is going to restart from the outside and fill tanks into the inside. The pace car is back to the pits. Here we go. Restart number one, the green flag is back in the air and Master Dragon 4000 comes out from the outside line. Looks like he just shot out of a cannon really fast. And Jamie McPillar is in the pits. That 41 car looks impressive right now. Here they come, entering turn two and get ready for the halfway jam.
12 laps to go here at Bristol Martyr Speedway, and here's a look at the playoff standings right now. Colin Barton currently in 6th place, so he's in a good position to stay there. Master Dragon 4000 in the lead, so he'll be the third racer to advance along with Jay McPillar, even though he's in dead last, two laps down during the halfway jam. So if he wrecks out of this race, he's fine. Because he had two great, great, good races at Atlanta and uh, Watkins Glen. Bubble Wheelhouse currently sitting ninth and below the cutoff line, along with Cal Wetters in the must win situation. There is no way Bubble Wheelhouse could make it up there. Meanwhile, Colin Bargain and Brandon Powercar are working together as a team, even though they're not teammates. Here's an onboard Cal Wetters to see how tricky this track is to run. This track surface is made out of concrete. I forgot to say that before the race started. I say this is a 0.53 mile concrete track. That's the reason why it's mostly different from all the other tracks where they're mostly made out of asphalt, except for Dover and Nashville. Seven laps to go. Master Dragon 4000 still in the lead against the number 28 of Phil Tankson, trying to prove that he deserves that second win of the 2024 season and this. And to show he's worthy for the playoffs and to contend for a championship. Now here's a look at Bobby Swift. Thinking that he's in danger from the playoffs. But instead he is not looking at the points before this race started. Jackson Storm loose all over the track. Behind the number 51 of Cruz Ramirez. Now to the left. To the right of H.J. Hollis. Sorry. Five laps to go here at Bristol Motor Speedway for the Vital Line and the Summer Night Race. Mobile Wheelhouse trying to get away from the number 19. Now here's a look at the 41 and Master Dragon 4000. He has been dominating most of this race along with the 28 of Phil Tankson. Now here he goes into turn two. Trying to lose the number 28. Hopefully we don't get a caution. Otherwise his chances of winning are pretty slim. Now here he goes through the front straightaway again with three laps to go. Master Dragon 4000 trying to sail off to victory lane and possibly to the round of eight. What am I talking about? He is going to go to the round of eight. Doesn't matter if he wins or finish second place. Oh, contact the 51 turns to number 20 of Jackson Storm and they bring out the second caution of the night. The 51 just did a bump and run to the number 20 of Jackson Storm. Jackson Storm right now is currently angry through the radio. We're about to see what just happened. Alright, so the 20 just slides away from turn 2 and then the 51 did a brake check on the 20. And then just turns him into the inside safer barrier. Why would you do that? That's just not some clean racing. We'll be right back since Cruz Ramirez and Jackson Storm brings up the second caution of the night. Welcome back to the Vital Line End of Summer Night Race. We're ready to go back green next time by. The lights are off the pace car. This time we're doing a green-white checkered restart since we have not completed all 25 laps under green. So if the leader gets the white flag, the next flag will end the race. So it doesn't matter if the caution happens or the checkered flag. If they, if the leaders do not get the white flag on time, if there's a wreck, they're about to have unlimited attempts. So hopefully we don't do something crazy what the NASCAR Cup Series did at Nashville in June. Here they go, restarting two by two. Phil tanks into the outside and Master Dragon 4000 to the inside. The pace car is off to the pits. Here they go to the restart zone. Two lap shootout here from Bristol Motor Speedway and Phil Tankson has jumped the restart. The officials are going to Hold the black flag once the leaders come back by to the start finish line. Master Dragon 4000 currently racing for the race lead. Or the race win, sorry. White flag is out one more time around here at Bristol Martyr Speedway. Master Dragon 4000 trying to claim his second win of the 2024 season after many months of struggling and finishing horribly. Master Dragon 4000 will win the Vital Line and the Summer Night Race. And Cal Wetters has been eliminated already. 
All right, we're about to see the restart of to prove that Phil Tankson has jumped the restart. All right, here it is in slow motion. Once they went through the restart zone, Phil Tankson has gone too fast and jumped ahead. Here it is in full speed. That's the easiest way to give your win up to another competitor. Wow. Congratulations to Master Dragon 4000 for advancing to the round of 8 and for winning the Vitaline and the Summer Night Race. So way to go to the 41 team for trying to compete for their last championship at Stuart Haas Racing. Here are the official results. Phil Tankson is the fastest car of the day. The round of eight has been set, so Bubba Wheelhouse and Cal Letters have been eliminated from competing for a championship. Next week, we're starting the round of eight at Kansas Speedway for the RPM 400 starting next Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern and 3 p.m. Pacific. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the Canica Heron 27, signing out.